Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over how to make a car that is automatic and is, and has idle, as well as a parking brake and many more features. So, it'll have as many gears as you want. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord, and it'll be linked down below. While you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Anyways guys, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so this is just basically an example that I built. Just a small, simple uh, seven passenger er, vehicle. Um, so when you start it, you don't have to turn the starter on. And it idles at roughly three to four RPM, or sorry, RPS. And when you turn the starter button off, or the key off, it kills the vehicle, it turns it off automatically. So when you do uh, start it, and uh, you press W, it'll go forward automatically, put it into gear, and when the time comes, it'll shift up, if you can hear it. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a platform. So this isn't really going to be anything fancy, I'm just going to make it uh, suitable for a, a car that has a maximum mass of 1000 kilograms. So if you hover over the spawn, this one says um 70 or 71 i guess um basically what that is is it's the mass of this vehicle right here so the best um weight of this vehicle that we're going to build is a maximum of a, of a thousand kilograms it can go a little over it's just not meant for it so we're gonna go ahead go ahead and connect the radiator to uh the yeah the radiator to the coolant which will cool the engine down Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and turn mirror mode off. The exhaust will just simply be pumped out with a fluid port right here, just for the purpose of this tutorial and time. So this this is going to be the fuel. So we're gonna go ahead and connect a tank to it. All right, so we can uh, make the radiator go a block further. So we're gonna do that. Actually, no, we cannot because the hitbox of these exhausts. All right, so now we're going to grab a pipe uh, this one right here, and we're going to make it face sideways so it can go down to the bottom area of the car. Now we're going to go ahead and grab a clutch, this one right here, and we're going to make it face down. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab an enclosed pipe. Now we're going to make it face backwards. So this is the power line, the line with all the power of the engine. So it's going to be a total of four gearboxes in the vehicle. Um, three of them are for making it go faster, and one of them is for reverse. So the first two are going to face straight. So the arrows should face towards the wheels, in the direction of the wheels. And then the next two should be facing towards the engine. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, make, uh, make a power line for the wheels. So we're going to grab enclosed pipes on the floor, drag it all the way back to here. We're going to go ahead and make it split. Go to each tire. Let's grab the wheel. Uh, this one right here. We're just going to go ahead and delete it to right here. And actually, we're going to make it go out to one more block. So it's about uh, nine wide. Yes, okay. So the optimal uh, size for a smaller vehicle like a SUV or a regular truck, I guess you could say, or a minivan, would be a maximum of nine wide. But if you wanted to do mirrors, you could do 11 wide in total. That's just a suggestion. You can do whatever you want, but that's um, that's uh, t mostly to scale. So now we're, what we're going to do is we're gonna grab a pipe, uh, this one right here, and we're gonna make it face sideways. And we'll go to the actual power of the front wheels included. And now we're gonna go ahead and place this here two blocks up. I'm gonna make a split to go to the back wheels, like so. And it'll go out one block, and then we'll go ahead and place the wheels right here, like so. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna grab a torque meter. This will measure the RPS, that's what we want out of the wheels. Um, all right, now we're gonna grab a pipe, uh, this one right here, and we're gonna make it face towards both sides. So it has um, full wheel uh, steering, or not steering, um, 
full wheel drive, I guess. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna grab a seat, well, two seats, and place them down right here. Okay, now what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna place a little bit of a platform and replace this with the passenger seat. All right, we're gonna make a little bit of a platform like so. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a, a microcontroller, which I will link down below. Or I guess I will link this um, card down below if you guys want to use it as an example. It's not going to be the prettiest thing, but it's it'll uh, show some people how to actually use the car. Uh, my way, at least. Alright, so this car, uh, microcontroller, you are going to have to fine-tune it. So the wheel spin will go to these three threshold gates. I will put them uh, right over here. So basically what you're gonna wanna do with these is you're gonna wanna change the uh, top number, the low threshold to 100, just at the moment, like so, to all three of them. Now you're gonna press update. Okay, then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get the RPS to the engine and then the wheel spin to the torque meter RPS. All right, then the throttle in will be WNS, then the clutch will go to the clutch, and then the throttle out will go to the engine throttle. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the gear one to the first gear ratio, then gear two to the third gear, and then gear three to the fourth gearbox. So this one is going, all right. So the first gearbox is going to be ratio one of three to one, the second gear ratio is two to one. Now the third gear ratio, or the th third gearbox, this one right here, the one that's facing towards the engine, will be a one to one, then gear ratio two, six to five. And then this one will be six to five. Now, um, now that we got that all hooked up, we're gonna go ahead and go to the brakes and attach them to these, like so. Okay, then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get a key button. This one right here will do. We'll just go ahead and place it right here, just for the moment. This will be the engine starter. Uh, we'll just name it starter. All right, so this will be attached to another microcontroller. So it'll go to this one, which will basically um, turn on the engine for about uh, a quarter of a second, I think it is. And then it'll stop sending the signal so you don't have that constant starting sound and it'll be quite nice. So, as soon as you've done that, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to grab a numerical switch box, uh, this one right here, and just go ahead and place it anywhere on the car, really. So basically, the throttle will go to here, which will go to the on signal, then the uh, switched value will go to the engine throttle, and the key button will go to the switched uh, signal, so the, the throttle goes to the on, and then the on or the switched value goes to the engine. This is basically whenever the uh, key isn't on, it'll basically cut the throttle off. So when you turn the key off of the vehicle, it'll turn the vehicle off itself. So now what we're gonna wanna do is we're just gonna go ahead and grab a battery. We're just gonna go ahead and place it down. And we're just gonna connect the electricity to everything really quickly. All right, cool. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a, a dial, a, a temporary dial. I'm just gonna go ahead and place it to right here. This will be wheel spin. Like so. And now we're just gonna connect this number to the wheel spin of this. So now what we can do is we can spawn it in for the first time. So this is where you gotta fine tune it to the actual gearboxes and such. So we're just gonna simply turn it on. There we go. So it's idling at four RPS and dropping. So what you're gonna wanna do before you start optimizing it is you're gonna wanna set the RPS limiter. So if you want it to be like a really quick and inefficient rally car, you're gonna wanna go to about 30 RPS max. And then if you want it to be like a small cruiser of five RPS, but just for a regular simple car, I usually do 12 RPS. That seems to work best for me. So now we're just gonna go ahead and turn on. 
And then, actually, I, I forgot to add the steering, so we'll just grab a numerical switch box. And we'll just go ahead and place it down right here. So usually if you place on the left side of the car, you're going to want to invert the right side, I believe it is. I'm not certain on that. I think you might want to... Yeah, hold on. I'm going to invert that really quickly. All right, so you're just going to want to get A and D and connect it to the inverter and then the steering. So now we're going to go ahead and spawn it in and try again. So we're just going to start it like so. We're gonna press W, which will start moving. So it seems to stop at four RPS. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go, wanna go like 0.5 down from the peak value of it. And then you're gonna wanna put that for the first gearbox switch. So go into the microcontroller, go into the first value, then put 3.5 in the low threshold. All right, press update and then spawn. Now that it's spawned in, you're gonna go again and basically optimize every single gear ratio. So we're just gonna go ahead and go forward. It's going to switch at 3.5. Now, the new gear, uh, top gear ratio is six, it looks like. So we're gonna put six or 5.5 as the next uh, gear ratio. So 5.5 in the low threshold of the second one, or the next one down. So now we can update it really quickly and spawn it back in and do the next gear ratio. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and turn it on and start moving forward. There we go. And now it's about 7.2, so we can go and do about 6.8. That'll be a good number for it. So we're just gonna put this as 6.8 and then update it and then spawn it in. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and start it and throttle up to about the speed. Okay, so I don't think it did work. So we're just gonna go ahead and go back and try again and see what went wrong. So, yes, okay, it is right, I think. Okay, it's the RPS, uh, my bad. So you guys won't face that issue um, because that'll be in the fixed version of the actual microcontroller. All right, so now that we figured that out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and spawn it in, and we will go ahead and test it out again. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn it on, like so. And now we'll go ahead and test it out. Oh, whoops. Um, okay, so I only stalled because I was using J mode, which basically is instant reactions to every single thing, so its sensitivity is all the way up. So to fix that, you just press J again. So there's no controller on the corner like the the side the right side of your screen on the lower area so just um now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and test it out to see how quick we can go so it's decently quick it's um not the quickest thing in the world this one alone but another thing you can do is you can turn this last gear ratio to a higher gear ratio so if you wanted to change the gear ratios around you just go ahead and change uh, thresholds all, all around for each gearbox ratio so it basically switch when it shifts up to that RPS if that makes sense so now we're going quite a bit quicker and um, yeah it's running quite smooth so um, yeah that's about it for this episode so I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here so thank you guys all so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and join the Discord, and while you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Anyways, guys, bye for now.